Hello survivors and welcome to a quick start guide for Grounded. So go ahead and start your game off normally. Start playing the story as you normally would. And you're gonna find this mystery machine, as they call it, and turn it on. And then you're gonna see that your lasers don't work and you're gonna spend a little time getting your lasers to turn on properly. And the, the story does a pretty good job of walking you through like the, the fundamentals, the basics of the game, how to how to build some stuff and where things are, more or less. <laughs> After you uh, clear your lasers, you're gonna get to this point where the activation button button is split up. Before you hit this button, or even if you already did, go ahead and pump your brakes, and then we're gonna head to. The other side of the little clearing here and get ourselves situated before we continue on with the rest of the story we're gonna set up a bit of a camp right now it's not really appropriate to set up a base because we don't have the uh, the better tools to, for better base building set up uh, unlocked yet and the bugs are just gonna rip it apart so I decided to just set up a little camp on this rock right here and you can kind of see everything, and, and as you see uh, animals walk by, you can jump down and kill them or whatever. So I went ahead, and in the clearing, I set up, uh, I dropped a bunch of mushrooms, which act as bait. And so while you're hanging out and sorting your inventory out and crafting things and whatnot, you can kind of keep your eye out and uh, watch as you'll see the weevils will slowly start to come. And then right behind them will be the ants and you can kind of just jump down and harvest your any weevil meat you might need or parts from them uh aphids and the ants of course and the ants are pretty important for us right now if you notice these little walls in front of us i just kind of put those up because the ants can come we have a storage container here and the ants can come see how they're kind of just beating up the grass down there they they'll do that all the, like all the time and so they don't even have to uh climb up the rock here to get to our storage container and they could steal things from it and that's you know no bueno so i kind of put those walls up to kind of hold them back a little bit now this is our camp and we have a fire here for cooking and you can just go ahead and cook up any ant, uh weevil meat that you might have or aphid meat and stuff like that and while, while that's going on we have our all-important workbench which uh we're going to use to craft our ant armor and maybe a few other things this is a lean-to, which you may or may not need. It depends on how long you decide to stay here. And just, it's really helpful to have one of these storage baskets. We don't have the materials to make a real storage container yet, so this will do. What we are going to need for sure is these first five items, which are easy to craft. A pebbled axe, a pebbled hammer, a pebbled spear, a torch, which you can find the sap for in any logs that are... There's even one right next to this rock. And as many bandages as you can get, you also need the uh, sap for them as well. For these next two items, they're kind of optional, but you do need the workbench for them. The aphid slippers, which are great because you can, they make you run a little faster and you can get away and run after ants and things like that. And this next one is real cool, the eye patch, which gives you an attack buff, which of course, you know, helps you kill things quicker. And next up is our ant armor which you will need the workbench for, and you're going to gather all the mite fuzz you can from the cave where you turned on the laser, where you got the mites off the, the wire. Uh, one ant head, and then you're going to need 14 ant parts and two acid glands. And the acid glands come from larvae, which can be pretty nasty at this point in the game, and they can kill you in just a couple hits. So I've made a whole separate video on where to hunt them and how to hunt them with just a spear, no armor, and a couple pebbles. Do not, do not bother making clover armor at this point. Let's just go right for the ant armor. It's kind of a waste of time. And there's a link to the, uh, the, that video in the description box below and at the end of this video in the annotations. I also, this is optional also, a dewdrop collector. No water filtration tablets needed. One of the things you're going to notice about this game is food is pretty easy to come by, but staying hydrated can be a bit of a pain in the butt. So when you're running around and you see dew drops underneath the, the blades of grass, etc., even if you don't need them at the time, kind of just make a mental note of where they are so when you are thirsty, you can go back and get them. Keep your eyes open for any 
uh, juice boxes or soda cans because they'll have uh, drops of liquid to slurp up on the ground and they will regenerate so you can keep an eye out for them as well but to be advised these dew drop collectors do require spider silk to build which can be a bit tricky to find to obtain this early in the game so I will have another video in the, in the how-to playlist for grounded that will show you the best place to get them and the best way to obtain spider silk and lastly, one thing that important thing that you want to keep in mind is with every item that you collect, no matter what it is, even if you think you don't need to or not, you need to bring it to your science station and analyze it. And this is because it gives you raw science, what they call raw science points. And you need these all throughout the game to unlock really important things. So you want to collect every single one that you can. And also, it unlocks the blueprints for new materials that you very well may need in the future. And that's about it. When you uh, gather, have all your materials gathered up and you build your ant, shiny new ant armor, you can now haul more materials when you're doing base building, which is a great thing, a great buff to have. Go ahead and smack your activate button and continue on with the rest of your story. Thanks for checking out this quick start guide and I'll see you guys in the next one and as always, peace.